Hello, Andrew Duncan of the Duncan Duo Team at Remax, and today I'm talking to you about a confusing part of the home selling process, home appraisals. I'm gonna to get to some basic information about appraisals, and then I'm gonna get you everything you need to know about the appraisal process if you're selling your house. First and foremost, an appraisal is just one person's opinion. Appraisers today, depending on the loan product, use a set of standards to help them come up with the value of the property. Now, I've seen many times multiple appraisers come up with different values for the same property because they apply the standards a little bit differently or have a different opinion. For the most part, an appraisal of the property is going to need to be a property within a half mile to a mile. Again, if it's a luxury or really custom property, you'll have to go out for a further radius, but uh, you know, appraisal management companies like to see homes close to the subject property, gonna be within the same square footage range, and then everything else from there is an adjustment. So if you have a 3-2 and that house happens to be a 4-2 as the subject, there's gonna be an adjustment there. If there's a pool and no pool on the subject, then there's gonna be an adjustment. So they wanna get close, so they're in a comparable neighborhood, and they wanna get close on square footage and features. Everything else is an adjustment, depending on the differences between uh, the subject property and the comparable property. One other thing that gets missed a lot on appraisals is an appraiser does actually look at some condition items. There are items that lenders don't like to loan for if there's, they're present in a property, major repairs or um, you know roofs that are shot, things like that. So appraisers will often look into a few of the major four point items to verify the condition of those items so that the lender can know that the property is in good enough condition. Another thing that appraisals will do, depending on the time of a uh, closed comps sale, appraisals will make an appreciation or a depreciation adjustment, depending on what's happening in the marketplace. If you're looking at a comp that's five months old and the market values have been going up, they're gonna make an adjustment. And obviously if market values have been going down, they're gonna make an adjustment the opposite way. So the appraisal needs to be at or above the purchase price to allow for the loan commitment to be fulfilled. If, and again, every contract's different, but if the property appraises below the contract price, it gives the buyer the right to cancel and back out of the deal. Um, of course, sometimes that's not what happens. Sometimes there's a meeting of the minds or a renegotiation or the buyer still wants it and comes up with the cash difference. But uh, the terms of the contract and the loan commitment in most contracts provide that the property has to appraise at or above the purchase price. As a home seller, you're not guaranteed to get a copy of the appraisal. That is the buyer and the buyer's lender's appraisal. Now, you'll get a copy if, for example, it comes in short and they ask to cancel or they ask for some sort of financial uh, negotiation. Um, but oftentimes the home might appraise above your uh, contract price and you don't ever know. So the only time the seller is going to get the appraisal is when there is a particular issue. Outside of that, once the appraisal is completed, it's one of the final steps of the underwriting process. If it hits value, everybody's happy, things move towards closing, uh, and all is well and done. The last thing about appraisals I wanna tell you is that it's not a recorded document. Uh, it's not something that's put on tax rolls or that people can find out later. The only part of the appraisal process that I like to talk about in terms of being recorded or historically tied to the property is if uh, it is a FHA or a VA loan, the appraisal stays with the property for a period of time. So uh, that doesn't apply on all loan products, but basically that prevents the property from being uh, appraised by a new appraiser with a different value and a different loan to value or a different loan amount. So hopefully this was helpful for you on appraisals today. Make sure to follow us on all our socials at The Duncan Duo.